Grab your shades. Because today, we're painting neon. Hi guys, Jonathan from Two Raven Studios. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe. We have new videos every week. This week, what I'm doing is I'm trying to find the best way to paint the brightest neon paints I can get because I have plans of making a 80s crazy themed Necron force and I want to be able to paint them super bright. So what I normally in the past have used is these fluorescent inks from FW. So we're going to test these out, but we're going to test out a bunch of other paints I bought. So I got scale 75 and green stuff world sets. I also have a couple different types of Viejo paints and a few other things we're going to test out. This is not a sponsored video. I bought all this stuff with my own money, so it is my opinion, best I can do of what I think works the best. What I'm going to do is individually go through all the colors, and then at the end, we're going to bring it back together, and I'm going to talk about the individual lines. So the way we're going to test all these paints is, first I need to find some miniatures. Turns out I have a ton of Night Goblins, so we're just using Night Goblins. They've all been primed white. I used Green Stuff World white surface primer. It actually works pretty well. It's the first time I tried it out. I still prefer the Viejo, but the Green Stuff World's not bad. So they're all primed that color, and then I just airbrushed on top all of the colors. I'm going to talk about later on about brush painting versus airbrushing and which ones work well and which ones didn't. But what we're going to do is just compare all the colors, and then at the end I'm going to talk about the different brands and how they work. So with that in mind, Let's get right into the colors and see what they look like. We're going to test them both under regular lighting conditions and under black light. Just so you guys know, fluorescent paints are a nightmare to get to show up properly on video. So some of them aren't going to look quite like they do in person, but I'll try to describe them as best I can. So moving from left to right, we have Green Stuff World Fluorescent Rose, Scale 75 Acid Pink, FW Ink Fluorescent Pink, Fluorescent Magenta by Viejo Model Color, Fluorescent Magenta by Viejo Mecha Color and Magenta Purple Oil Paint. So the brightest one is actually by far the Green Stuff World. It no, it looks doesn't look pink in the video, but in person it is bright, bright, bright pink. It's hard to tell in the video, and it's hard to film these fluorescent paints. But that's definitely the brightest by far. If you're going for a magenta color, though, the Viejo is a very nice darker pink magenta color. So the winners I would say for this are the Green Stuff World and the Viejo. This oil paint does not work very well for miniatures. It actually has gritty crystals in it, which is what makes it glow in the dark. It, you can get a cool effect, and I think using it in conjunction with the other paints, you'd get a cool effect. But on its own, it's not that great for miniatures. So I'm going to turn the lights down for a second. And let's turn on the black light. So you can definitely see in the black light how much the Green Stuff World one is glowing again. Again, it's glowing pink in person, even though the video, it looks kind of faded, but it's bright, bright pink in person. The uh, magenta, this one right here, actually glows very nicely as well. So I would say these two are the brightest ones for this set. You can kind of see the areas where their crystals are glows on this, and the other areas don't again. It just... The oil paint did not work that well. Next up we have our green colors. So we have Green Stuff World Fluorescent Lime, Gel 75 Techno Green, Fluorescent Green from FW, Fluorescent Green from Mecha Color from Viejo, and actually Tesseract Glow Citadel Color. I just put it in a dropper bottle there. This one, again, the screen is not showing well at all what these colors look like in person. The brightest one by far, if you're talking about a true green, is the Scale 75 one. It is a very brilliant green. The Green Stuff World is also very, very bright, but it's more of a yellow green. So for this one, it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for more yellow green, I would go with the Green Stuff World. If you want a true green, definitely the Scale 75. And again, let's look at it under the black light. And you can kind of tell, again, the glow doesn't look like it does in person. It's more glowing the color, but you can see how much that Green Stuff World one is glowing again. The green stuff fluorescent paints just glow like crazy. You can kind of tell in the bottle too. The scale 75 is not bad, but this one, it's just 
it's a brilliant green color in real life. So for yellow, we only have three colors. I have green stuff world fluorescent yellow, speed yellow by scale 75, fluorescent yellow from FW, and Viejo Mecha color fluorescent yellow. Um, the brightest one again by far is the green stuff world. It's a very vibrant, bright yellow. The scale 75 is also very bright, but it's actually somewhat paler. So it, this is a nice color. It's just a little bit paler. This is a very vibrant yellow. These two are bright, but they're just, they can't compare to these two. I know, again, it's hard to see in the video. We check them under the black light again. We can see they all glow pretty well. The, again, the brightest is the green stuff world, though. You can kind of tell in the video it's glowing so bright the camera can't really handle the color. But this one is far closer than most of the other colors. They all glow very bright. For orange, we actually have two green stuff worlds. This one is yellow orange. This one's pure orange. Then we have... Neon orange from L75, FW fluorescent orange, and then the two Vallejo fluorescent oranges. Again, the scale 75 wins by a mile. It's just so much brighter than the other ones. This is kind of a cool color. It doesn't glow nearly as bright as the pure orange, but again, in this set, there's no contest. It's definitely the scale 75 is much brighter. Let's see what it looks like under the black light. You can probably tell this one is really glowing, but again, it's partly because it's a yellow-orange, so it's going to be a brighter color. But these two are glowing really well. The one that's actually glowing surprisingly well is the Viejo, because it wasn't that bright in the normal light, but under the black light, the Viejo right here, it really glows almost as much as the scale 75. Here we have the blues. We have uh, Fluorescent Blue by Green Stuff World, Electric Blue, scale 75, v uh, FW. Viejo. And then again, we have an oil paint here. This one is blue green. The brightest one yet again is scale 75, but the blues don't really kind of glow like the other ones do. They're not as bright fluorescent. They're not what I imagine a fluorescent blue would be. When you say electric blue to me, I would think a much brighter shade of blue, like a lighter uh, tone. But they're still very vibrant, cool colors. Uh, I really like that scale 75 blue. It's a very nice blue. Um, I'm going to turn the lights off and hopefully we can see that. Not really showing up on the camera, but this the glow in the dark one actually, oil paint is actually glowing in the dark. When we put them under the black light, this one's kind of a fail almost. The ink actually glows pretty well. And the Viejo glows a little bit, but none of the other ones are really glowing under the ink. The oil paint looks really weird because, again, it has those glow-in-the-dark crystals that are unevenly distributed. So it's the glow-in-the-dark crystals catching the light on this one. But I'm going to say, if you had to pick one, one of these two. These are normally the ones that glow, but they really... The Green Stuff World's glowing a little bit. The Scale 75 is glowing not at all. So... I'm going to say the Vallejo is the winner on this one. The Green Stuff World and the Gale 75 also came with red and purple paints in the set. So we have those here. The Green Stuff World red is doing what the Green Stuff World paints do in a lot of it, where it's so bright, the camera's picking it up as almost white. But the this is really glowing. This is kind of a nice, vibrant color. These two I'm rather disappointed in. They're somewhat pale, but the Green Stuff World colors are pretty nice. Let's check them under the black light, see how they look. And again, that red is glowing quite nicely. Uh, purple, not so much. These three are glowing about the same, which is not much at all, but the red, you can even see the bottle. It's really glowing quite well. So I would say that red is definitely a winner. The other colors, if you're looking for fluorescent paint, I would go with the green stuff world because it's a little bit brighter than the scale 75, but the purples aren't that great. But that green stuff world red is very nice. For our last colors here, we have the fluorescent white from green stuff world, and we have brilliant white that's in the scale 75 set. This is actually not a fluorescent paint. It's a metallic white. Hard to tell in the camera, but this is actually metallic here. This and this, which is just the primer, so this is just the primer white, they look the same in person. There's not that big of a difference between the two. The difference I'm going to show you comes when I turn the black light on. So we switch over to the black light, and you can see 
now we have some glow there because it's a fluorescent paint. This is really good to help brighten up the other colors in the set and also turn paints that are not fluorescent into more glowing paints. So I experimented with this a little bit and you can do some cool stuff. I also experimented by using these two as undercoats to my colors to see if it made a difference. In this case, it really didn't make any difference at all. In this case, it actually made the glow worse. So they don't really work as undercoats. The reason this looks weird right now, it's reflecting the black light, but it doesn't look like that in person. It's just looking weird in the camera for some reason. But those are the whites in the set if you're wondering what they're all about. But let's talk about those different lines. So first off, I'm going to talk about these uh, glow-in-the-dark oil paints. They're kind of a cool concept, and I can imagine they look really cool on canvas, but because of the crystals in them that make them glow, they don't work that well for miniatures because they're kind of gritty because of that. So I would not recommend these necessarily for miniatures, but again, if you're a canvas painter, the, you can get some pretty cool effects with these glow-in-the-dark. But I'm going to give them a thumbs down for miniatures. Next up, we're going to go with what I normally always used to use, which is these inks. There's a lot of problems with these inks, and it's actually why I was looking for something different. And when it comes to how bright they are, they kind of fall in the middle of the pack. Most of the other stuff I tested was actually brighter. The main thing I don't like about these is the application. Through an airbrush, it actually takes many thin coats to get a nice coverage. And with a regular brush, since they're inks, they just they don't paint well. So the application of these is not that great, but you can get some cool effects if you put the work in. But overall, these would not be my pick. A lot of the other stuff we tested works way better. We have this new Tesseract Glow by Citadel. It worked really well through the airbrush. It also gives you a cool different effect, kind of like contrast paint when you paint it on with a regular brush. As for glowing in person, it's a quite nice yellow green color for glow. It doesn't glow at all under the black light and compared to some of the other paints, you're going to get some better glows with the other one, but this is readily available to you. It's not bad. It's not my pick, but it's not bad. Next up, we have the Viejo paints. These are designed for like Gundams and that sort of stuff, and they're designed to be put through an airbrush. If you've used model colors, you know what model colors are. The Mecha color goes so smoothly through the airbrush. I was really impressed with it. Uh, it doesn't paint very well with regular brush, but again, it's designed to go through an airbrush. The Viejo, again, it's decent through an airbrush, decent with a regular brush, kind of acts like regular Viejo paint. I really like this Viejo Magenta. It's because because both of these are quite nice compared to the other colors, because the other colors are more pink. This is like a darker magenta, which is quite nice to have. Overall, some of the colors glow well, some of them don't. They're not bad paints, but again, they're not my top pick but I would pick up one of the magentas because it's a lack in the other ranges. So I give them about a B, they're not bad. Next up we have the scale 75. Through the airbrush, they didn't work that great. They worked okay. Through with a regular brush, they work much better. And overall they glow quite nicely. Um, I would give them a B, B plus. If you're only going to grab one of these paints, I would grab the green. I, the green in this set is the best green out of all the ones I tested because it's the only one that was like a true green that truly glowed. Some of the other ones glowed a little bit better, but they were more of a yellow green. This and this, The green in this set is a nice true green. That's what I would go for. The rest of this set falls by the wayside to the winner. Watching this video so far, you probably know which one I think works the best. The hands down winner as far as paint set goes, is the green stuff world. They just glow to an amazing level. As soon as I opened the package of this, I could tell that they were gonna glow brighter than the other paints because if you just open it up and kind of look in there, you can just see those colors are just bright and they pop. So I highly recommend these. The one downside to these is they go very smoothly through the airbrush very nicely they take some work by hand they're kind of thin and you need a lot of layers to get them to work well by hand so if you're actually painting by hand you might want to go with the scale 75 but if you use an airbrush you're not going to beat these in terms of how much they glow this is my number one pick green stuff world fluorescent paints no i'm not sponsored but this is what i'm going to be painting my army with in the future so winner overall this color 
I would grab the green out of this set because it's a much truer green. The green in this set's called lime and it is lime. It's a yellow green. That's the only downside I see of this set is it doesn't have the nice true green this has. But overall, these colors, they glow super bright in person. You could tell probably by the camera that they weren't picking up that well they were glowing so bright. They also glow like crazy under the black light. So whether you're under normal lighting conditions or a black light, these win on almost every color hands down. Like I said, the only exception to that is the Scale 75 had a better green, and it's not that the green in here doesn't glow, it's just that it's a yellow green, the one in there is a true green. If they made a true green, it probably would be amazing as well. This is my pick, Green Stuff World Fluorescent Paints. If you're looking for the brightest ones you can get for miniatures, can't beat these. So I hope you found all that useful. You can look forward in the future to me actually painting some of my necrons using these paints and we're going to see how they work overall kind of blending them together and putting some cool effects on our miniatures hopefully i can get them to photograph right because like i said taking videos and photographs of this fluorescent paint has been a nightmare so we'll see how it goes when the time comes to make those videos did I miss any fluorescent paints or neon paints that you guys like to use? Is there something you find that's super bright and can maybe beat the Green Stuff World paints? If you know about something, please let me know in the comments below. I'd really like to see it and like to test it out for myself. I'd appreciate a like if you would drop one. It really helps out the channel. Until next time, keep on gaming and paint your minis.